This year marks the 30th anniversary of that badge right there, Type R. And what better way to celebrate than with the unveiling that we've all been waiting for, the 2023 Honda Civic Type R. Now when an automaker like Honda knows that it has a winner on its hand, like it does with the Type R, it likes to tease out information. So I'd love to stand here and tell you that I know every single thing about the new Type R, but that's just not the case. Don't worry though, we're still gonna show you the entire thing inside and out and tell you what's new, which means we're starting where everybody wants us to, under the hood. Now if you'll remember, the 10th generation made 306 horsepower, and this one makes, we don't know, it could be, 307 horsepower, it could be 4,000 horsepower. They just haven't told us yet. That'll be closer to when this car goes on sale later this year. We do know that it still has a turbocharged two liter four cylinder under the hood and a six speed manual transmission. That is the only one available right now. And it'll most likely be the only transmission available throughout the lifespan of this car. Other components like the single mass flywheel are also probably still here. That said, Honda still hasn't confirmed that. Remember, this car has already outdone its predecessor at Suzuka, setting the course record for front wheel drive car. So we know that this is faster, and that's mostly not even to do with the power under the hood. As we become more familiar with the 11th generation Civic, the Type R's design was never going to be a huge shock, but seeing it in person for the first time, it's a lot more grown up, a lot more restrained this time around. I am a giant adult baby. I like the hood scoop up front. I like the big ass wing on the back of the previous generation car. But seeing this one in person for the first time, it's hard to argue against as a complete package. This is a very good looking car. At launch at least, it's gonna be available in five colors. Of course, championship white being one of them. The front fascia is new and there is a huge opening now, which is obviously going to help with cooling when you're driving this car fast, that makes a lot of sense. I like these cut lines in the side, they shoot right up toward the headline. That gives me some Integra vibes actually, it's kind of cool how they're tying the two together. And all is well in the world, there's still a bright red H badge and then a Type R logo right next to it. This is where things get a little bit different for me. The hood scoop in the front and the side uh, exit right here. You remember on the previous gen car, they were loud and in your face. The hood scoop was way back here. And then from the side profile, you could see that intake behind the tire from a mile away. But this time around, it's pretty much hidden unless you're behind the car looking right here. Honda worked to make this car look more calm. Um, the tires are going to be a big change around with this car. Honda Civic Type R now comes standard on Michelin PS4S tires, you'll remember the previous gen came on standard Continental tires, and later on with the Limited, they moved to a Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tire. The tires are also bigger this time around. It's a 265 section tire, as to where before it was a 245 section tire, so you're gonna be getting a little bit more grip from the front end, which is always a good thing. That said, the wheels are smaller. Honda brought it down from a 20 inch wheel to a 19 inch wheel this time around, which should give you more options in the aftermarket. Walking along the side profile, this is sort of interesting. The Civic Type R has its own unique rear door compared to the rest of the Civic lineup. Honda did that, they had to use a wider door panel to run seamlessly into the rear arches, which are obviously flared out. And then on to the business end of things, obviously the biggest change is the rear wing, completely different than before. This also has an aluminum component to it, which helps decrease drag while increasing overall downforce. There's still a triple exhaust down below, which we all love. This time around, the center port is actually the biggest, flanked by two smaller ones. It's sort of a reverse order than it was before. So to recap on everything, this is the most powerful Honda Civic Type R ever. It is lower, it is wider, and longer than it was ever before, and the front section tires are wider. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. And here's the sea of red that we have been waiting for. Red seatbelts, red seats, red on the floors. The seats getting into them for the first time are actually fantastic. There's a little bit more bolstering than before. And Honda designer said they used a different material, which is supposed to be higher grip, which means when you're really on this thing in a corner, the seats are in theory at least supposed to hug you more in place. The rest of the interior is very much a Civic, but in a lot of the best ways. The gear shift lever is pretty much the same as before, but it's not a bad thing. It was a fantastic manual. The honeycomb pattern is still here and you get a nice little Type R placard in front of the passenger. 
Uh, in the infotainment, you have the Honda Log R system, which shows you a bunch of different parameters on the car. And you can, of course, log your different lap times going around the track. And in front of you is a digital gauge cluster with brand new graphics that we've never seen in a Type R. And right above it is a row of shift lights. While this new Type R isn't a huge leap forward over the car that it replaces, it didn't need to be. This should still be the best front wheel drive car on sale today and an absolute hell raiser from behind the wheel. We'll find out much more about the Type R closer to its on sale date later on this year. Thanks for watching.